Yeah, you're never going to believe what we got today. We've got Baja grouper. It's a, uh, it's a fleshy fish, very similar to uh, bass. You know, uh, 9 out of 10 people really can't tell the difference. Uh, <laughs> it really is Baja grouper, just kidding. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is we're going to pan, so I tell you this, I'm going to use a little uh, Hawaiian sea salt, Aliea, my preference. And uh, the reason for that, I just like it. I'm also going to use a little togarashi spice. Togarashi spice is a uh, Japanese uh, ground red pepper. This uh, variety that I'm using has a little bit of sesame seed, a little bit of uh, lemon peel, an orange peel, and seaweed. Hot pan, neutral oil, the Baja grouper. Anyhow, a hot pan. What you want to do is you, when you hit a saute pan, you always put stuff away. And the reason for that is you tilt it towards you, chances are you're going to be burning yourself, you know, your insurance. It's just not worth it. So hot pan always away, hands go up, plate goes down. You want to sear, sear all the juices going into uh, one side, turn it over, back into the center, medium rare. The reason for that, you never want to overcook a great piece of fish. For this preparation, I'm going to use a little uh, julienne. I've got uh, yellow squash and zucchini here. I'm going to put that on the side. And a little bit of rainbow carrot. It's an heirloom carrot. We've got uh, yellow, we've got white, and we've got purple. It's kind of like a beet color. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of basil. Okay, cool. So what I've got is I've got the uh, heirloom carrot and the julienne uh, squash and zucchini with the basil. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of shaved garlic. And then for the grouper itself, I'm going to finish that with some caper and a lemon vinaigrette. As with all fish, I like to cook them about medium rare. If you like your fish a little, uh, you know, cooked more, you can ask somebody else to do it for you. But if you come over to my house, this is what you're going to get, medium rare. I'm going to put that on top, and as I said, I'm going to finish it with a little bit of caper, a little bit of lemon vinaigrette, and that's going to be on top of the grouper as well. The caper is a uh, berry from God. It's a little salty, they're brined, uh, usually in a brine. Okay, here we go, the flame just for you. The brines to preserve the caper, which is a berry, grows on a tree. We're just going to put that on either side. Usually found in a lot of Mediterranean cooking, or my cooking. I like capers. They're tart, they're salty, they're sweet, just like you, Scott. Grouper!